Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React with Redux video tutorial, we will learn about the container. So container is actually a very important file. In this file, we will connect Redux with React, right? So before just going to start with the video, I'm just going to tell you that uh, you don't need to just type the code with the stopping my video. You can just get my all this project code from the Redux tut, uh, which is uh, my GitHub repository here. You can just get all the code, right? So now let's check out the points of this video. We will see what is the container. Then uh, we will uh, see that how we can connect the Redux with the React here. Then we have to import the Redux, React Redux, uh, the library which is installed in the third or uh, fourth video. And uh, then we have to import the actions and component. And we will use the map dispatch to props and map state to props. Actually, these two functions are very important and they are playing the major role to connect the Redux and React, right? So we'll see that. Before just uh, starting with the code, let's take a look out on the official documentation also that how they are actually maintaining the, con the uh, container. Here you can see that the similar thing, they just uh, uh, use the React Redux and they imported the here uh, actions, connect and uh, components here. Then they use the map state to props and map dispatch to props and they actually use this uh, the both parameter as an connect function and in the early call we, we also call the uh, our component name right so our component name will be different from this but this is basically the component name right so now let's uh, just start with the code so just open the home.container.js file we already created it when we are just created the file and folder structure right so first of all i'm just going to import uh, connect from react redux right so just write here import connect from react redux right and our component is already imported here so now let's import the action also import something from and just put here uh, services uh, then actions and then actions. I will just change this file name uh, just after some videos. I will just make it the action rather than the actions because the folder and file name are the same for a moment and this is not a good practice, right? And uh, just get the add to cart from here, right? And uh, just after that, we will use the both of these functions, which is the map dispatch to props and map state to props. What is actually use of for that? Let's just open this file here and uh, I'm just going to open my web paint and just clear it out. So let's say this is uh, basically your store of the Redux where we just store our old data of our application, right? Uh, my bad, let me draw it again. Uh, this is our uh, store, right? So when we are just sending the data from React to this store then we actually use the map dispatch to props and when we are just getting the data from this store from like here in the, this component or any other component like this is the other component or some other XYZ component here then we will actually um, use the map state to props right so you just got me got me out that uh, map uh, dispatch to props is basically used to uh, push the data inside the store and the get the data from the store we will use the map state to props right and in the upcoming video we will just uh, I will show you that how actually they work so for a moment let's uh, just close it and now let's just define the both of them so just uh, make a const here like const and uh, it will just have a state as an arrow function you can see that right and uh, now for a moment uh, we can just put it blank if you just want and now let's uh, use this map dispatch to props let me just copy it a typical name right and uh, here this is a dispatch function as an arrow function you can see that basic this is a parameter in the arrow function right like this and here we will just use the two functions and the first function will dispatch the data to the another function that how it's actually work so i am just going to define here add to cart handler 
and this function we will call from the react component on any event like on a click event or submit event or whatever you want to use like on change and all right and uh, then this is the parameter of oh my bad this is the parameter of this data like of this uh, function like i just want to send the data and then just use a dispatch function right and uh, here uh, just simply use the add to cart and this add to cart actually belong to the action and uh, this is also again a function so let's pass the data which is we just get from the add to cart right like this that's great now let's make it comment and just right here export default and connect function which is we just import from the uh, react redux and it have the two parameters one is basically map state to props and uh, another one is the map dispatch to props right and in the function parameter we can pass here uh, component name which is the with the capital h right so this is where container is actually ready uh, there is a chance that we have more than one actions so that uh, we can just use the actions like this right so we have the x y button functions and x y button uh, action also right um, now maybe you have a question that can we just change this map state to props and match dispatch to props because actually they are the parameters here right yes you can definitely change if you just want like this put here x and y then you can also use here like x and y and this will again working fine the map state to probe and uh, map dispatch to probes actually define that we are just fetching and getting the data right so that's all about the home container or container file in the next video now you will just find that we got an error on our here because we could not find the store uh, right because we already used the connected but uh, there is a no store for a moment yes on the next video in the index.js we will just use the store and uh, we'll just make a wrapper of redux on a react so thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care